Okay guys, so off screen, what I preemptively did is with my pencil, I drew a person from um, the head down to the shoulders. And the shoulders are going off the page here and I just did that with my pencil really quickly. So you are welcome to pause the video at this point and draw your own person, kind of using mine as a reference image. What I do want you to know is the shapes I'm using. I did a U shape for the head and then made lines that kind of curve in and then back out for the neck and shoulders. Don't forget to have a shirt line there so your person is wearing a shirt. Include some ears if you want to, a nose, a mouth. You don't have to make this look like a realistic person. You could do it kind of more cartoony if you want to also. But what I'm going to be doing is really focusing on the hair because the hair is going to be all these different crazy lines and we're gonna create patterns in between the lines. What I mean by that is I'm gonna think of a type of line I wanna do first. So let's say I wanna do some sort of swirl line. I'm going to start by making a line that comes across the top of the head and then swirls up like this, almost like the start of our hair. Now I'm gonna repeat this about three more times. So here's one, two, three. Now I'm gonna think of another type of line. So let's say I want to do a um, wavy line. I'm gonna start from another point here and create one, two, three, four wavy lines here. Now I can also repeat that on the other side if I want, just to get a little bit of a sense of symmetry. So one, two, three, four. Okay, so what I want to accomplish is I want to fill up all of this empty space here with different kinds of lines. So I'm gonna speak up the camera to finish this part. You can pause here and work on that yourself. Alrighty, so I have all of my different line types drawn out. Now I'm gonna take this one step further, okay? I'm going to go into all of these shapes and I'm going to create other patterns so I can think of other shapes, other designs to fill in these spaces. So for example, if I wanted to do kind of a little leaf shape, I could do that. So I'm gonna speak up the camera again, and I'm going to fill in all of these shapes that my line patterns have created with new shapes and really make all of this hair crazy detailed and heavily patterned. filled up all of our spaces here with different patterns is we need to take our black sharpie and we need to trace over all of our pencil lines. Once again I'm going to speak up the camera because this part's going to take a while. created a very cool black and white person with crazy patterned amazing hair. I cannot wait to see what you made at home. Feel free to take a picture of your artwork and email it to me at glitterlunglessons at gmail.com. Until next time, stay safe at home and stay creative. <laughs>